Ah, there you are, Dennis. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get. So that's where you're running off to. Hey guys, Multi Game Master one reporting in, and welcome back to my 100% Let's Play of Jersey Devil. In the last episode, we headed off into the Green Park and completed our first mission in the area, the Bat Caves. And in this episode, we're going to head into our second mission, the Root Canal. So it's second verse, same as the first. Find all the Narf tokens and the Nitro crates before heading into the level. Of course, it's going to be quite tricky because, as usual, the Narf tokens are hiding in different places within the area. Also, I strongly recommend that you deal with this squash right away because the first time I played this, I just found out that this guy will constantly follow you in the park. So you'll want to deal with him right away, otherwise he will constantly stalk you. Which is weird. And annoying. Let this be a lesson, kids. Never stalk your enemies or your friends. It could end up bad for you. Okay, so let's keep going. More natural crates to be found. At least these are stuck in their usual places. A fountain to help us get to our first NARF token right here. Let's actually backtrack a little. Get some more nitro crates right here. I'm wondering if I'm missing any. Any over here? No? Okay. Alright, let's just keep moving from here then. More extra lives to be found. I may as well take it with me. Okay. Now, I think from here we can adjust the water flow, so let's head back down here. And all of a sudden I lost some health. I think I may have mentioned this in the first episode. Well, maybe not for... Actually, I think it was the first episode. If Jersey Devil falls for too long, he will lose health. A rapid amount, so... Be sure to have him glide whenever he's falling. I never thought that green parts such as these will hold secret tunnels. Quite a mystery. That squash guy to follow us around again. Oh, you are not going to kick me in the face. Where'd you go? And as usual, this guy is just as moronic as ever. It's like he's been living with brain damage this whole entire time. Okay, come on, buddy. There. Now let's keep going from here. We have another NARF token. Once again, I apologize for the lag. They're just rather untimely. Okay, another NARF token right here. Die, bat. And there's another NARF token over there. We're almost there, guys. We're going to reach the root canal any moment now. Before we do, though, we have to find one more NARF token and three more Nitro Crates. I think that we can find them around this area. Here's where we can access the root canal. And fortunately, I was able to find all the NARF tokens and the nitro crates in the area. By the way, the final NARF token is right here. Now, here's where we can access the mission. By this tree. So, let's open the door and get inside. No safe spot? Huh, that's rather unfortunate. Inside the tree, we are greeted by a plant with tentacles. I think this is a fly trap. It looks like it. 
from what I can tell from the intro to this game. Let's deal with his tentacle shield first and then we'll get to him. Alright, now, this plant has an insatiable appetite for anything alive that crosses in its path. How you want him to defeat him is absolutely easy. Wait for him to stop chomping and then let him have it. However, what's annoying about him is that sometimes he can trick you with his chomping attack and he takes so many hits to kill, it's ridiculous. I guess it's given his appetite. He has stayed alive for so long and can withstand my attacks. Usually plants don't have this insane amount of health. Okay, he's good. As dead, that is. Now we come to this dark area within the park. And it looks like there's a golden opportunity for us to slide, so let's go ahead and do so. A couple of obstacles you want to watch out for as you're sliding. The tentacles and the nit not nitro crates, uh, TNT crates. Sometimes those tentacles will throw you off, but you will regain control shortly. So try not to worry too much about them. I'm going to try to get everything in one run. If I don't, I'll cut back to specifically where I left off in order to get the things that we've missed. I thought for sure I was going to miss that NARP token. I wasn't really paying attention for a moment. Eee, we're just sliding. Okay, we're coming to some very important things, such as the cranks. We freed the hostages, but unfortunately we've missed that NARF token, but we will get back to that in a second. This pad is marked with P level 8. We're at P level 3, so once we reach that level, we'll come back to this, but it's not going to be until much later in the series. Now, let's see if we can find a way to get back. And indeed, there is a way back amidst this path that we're taking. Pumpkins, extra lives, nitro crates, and that gush of water. We now have all of the nitro crates. Now, we can get back to the top by standing on top of here. And it simply carries us back to the start. Now, I'll cut back to when I get the NARP token. I'll be right back. Successful. Okay guys, I'm back. We now have the final NARP token, so let's get through here and see if we can find the boss lab. Here's the spot in which we can save, but we're just going to keep moving from here. Let's see what we can find in 2-2 Root Canal. NARP! There you are! Uh-oh... Just when we've had him. What? Well, that was quite unexpected. Whoa! Okay, so here's the next boss of the game, a Japanese bear. This guy is rather exceptionally tough to deal with. What you have to do is to get right behind him and attack his butt. There's a certain move in which you have to make him do in order to gain the upper hand, so... Let him attack for now, and then wait for him to leap right towards you, and then you can attack him in the rear. This guy is exceptionally tough. I remember having so much trouble with him in the past, and in recording, it's also the case. I really hate this guy so much because he can easily attack you, when you least expect it. He claps and uses his hair to his advantage and leaps towards you. It took me quite a while to deal with this guy, and it seems like it's going to during recording. Whoa! Sometimes he will trick you like that as well. He'll regain focus and then attack you right away. And I swear, if I die here, we're just gonna keep moving. I'm not even gonna restart. This guy is incredibly annoying. You expect him to pull off one attack, but instead he pulls off another. 
and you think you have the upper hand against him, but sometimes he can just trick you like that, fool you for you to take damage to him. One more hit should finish him off. Whoa! Looks like I win, and it only took one try. Time to blow up the lab. So that takes care of everything in the green park for now. Now, as you remember in the beginning of the episode, Dennis was on top of this car and headed into this area. We could explore this part of Jersey Town, but we are going to save that for the next episode because we are out of time. Nope. <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face. I'm kidding guys, since we're 11 minutes into the recording, we're actually going to make time for this area, so let's go on ahead in, shall we? <laughs> Dr. Narf again. Oh, this is my favorite place. We are now inside the cemetery, and boy does it look dark and creepy. I'm pretty sure that there will be plenty of nasty surprises dead ahead of us. The first thing we want to do for this area is to destroy that car over there. We can do so with TNT crates. You guys are going to see why I'm destroying it, besides the fact that I really don't like it, in a second. Or maybe not in a second, but in a little bit. Four TNT crates is what it takes for you to destroy it. What's good about the TNT crates in this area is they constantly respawn. So you have an infinite amount of chances to destroy it. Okay, so the car is now destroyed. It does two things. It drops a NARF token and crashes into the gates over there so we can keep going throughout the cemetery. Boy, did this place look dark and creepy. You'll see over there that we have a giant slab marked with P level 5. We're at P level 4, so... We need to accomplish one area before we can come back and investigate that area thoroughly. Right now, let's just keep moving from here. The more I get a good look at this place, the more I realize how dark and dangerous this place can be. It's never safe to wander in dark and dangerous places at night, kids. So be sure to keep that in mind. The cemetery is definitely, especially, the place that you want to avoid the most. Using this TNT crate, we can bring down this statue right here and gain access to this part of the cemetery. And I believe that there are a couple of things to be found around here. Let me see if I can find them. Ah, good, we have a nitro crate right here, along with some eggplants. Really annoying. Gosh, I could really use some help. Uh, health. That battle between me and the Japanese bear was so savaging I guess I could say anyway in this part of the cemetery you want to spell out narf in order to get something good if you spell it incorrectly you'll take damage by one of the gravestones so K N A R F after spelling out narf we have a coffin here that gives us another narf token we can use this boulder to escape this part of the cemetery. Right, so let's keep going from here. Through the gates we go. Up ahead we have some zombies dead ahead. They're just so depressing. As ever. Like... You can defeat those guys rather easily. Or so I thought. And that was my first life loss. Quite honestly, I've had trouble in dealing with zombies in the past. It's like, whenever you get close to them, they'll just find a way to push you back. Like that. And in recording it was the case. These guys are rather annoying to defeat. But you can defeat them if you approach them and time your attacks carefully. Wow, already I lost my first life in the cemetery. I am so disappointed in myself right now. Very disappointing. But just because something like that happened, 
doesn't mean that I'm going to restart this. I mean, come on. We could just keep moving. And I did say before that I was not going to make this a no death run. Unlike a certain game, Pikmin, that will not be mentioned. Oh, great, I just mentioned it. Oh, I almost forgot. We need another TNT crate for something really important. Take one of the TNT crates with you and use it to bring down this tree right here. You won't be able to do it by means of your own attacks. Timber! Another bat right there? I thought I killed that. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just keep going. Is that bat going to fly towards me? No, I guess he's just going to fly his own separate path. Another zombie right here. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. When you die enough times in a certain area, you'll end up not hearing the music that you hear playing in the background. Such lovely, incredible, and amazing music. Quite a masterpiece. Only to have it shut off by you losing a life. It's just not right. Anyway, that zombie is defeated, and we get a Narf token from here, or him, rather. This part of the cemetery is very, very dangerous. Hello? Hello? Oh, shoot. What the heck is that? Oh, it appears to be a ghost. Ah, so creepy. You want to avoid this ghost at all times? Here's what happens if you get caught. He'll grab you for a moment and then drag you to the pit over here. Save yourself with the glide. I strongly recommend that you avoid this guy at all costs. Otherwise, he will unfairly create an advantage. A disadvantage for you. Advantage for himself, disadvantage for you. He'll literally have you rest in peace with the spirits in this area. So we have a lot of gravestones to take out around here. I hope nothing pops out. Hello? 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 Oh, ghost. Yeah, boo to you too. Get lost. No one really wants to talk to you right now. The final NARF token is right here, but we can't take it down with our own attacks. But if we come over here and pick up this power-up right here, Jersey Devil will spin around continuously and you can use this attack to knock down the statue. And there we go, the final NARF token is acquired. We can now keep moving throughout a certain part of the cemetery. Here's where we can go to access our next mission, the crypt. And initially we have zombies and bats all over the place. Oh, it seems as though the way is closed. Forgot this was even there. But why would you seal the entrance to the next mission with gargoyles? I mean, seriously. Okay, I really need to get rid of this bat. And I'm also going to kill that zombie over there, since we have time to. Because this is how much I hate zombies. I mean, they just force me to lose a life within this place. And boy, do they sure put up quite a guard. I strongly recommend you finish them off with kicks instead of punches. Will you just die already, even though you're technically dead? Okay, now back to business. Gravestones. So, to get inside the crypt to the next mission, you'll want to... Oh wait, actually, I just remember we need to get that power up again. So we can knock down the gargoyle statues and get inside. Don't come close to me, ghost! You had to come close to me. Yes, thank you, ghost. Thank you. This guy is not only scary, but he's also annoying at the same time. Boo to you too. Get lost. Yeah, I dare you to come closer. I dare you to come close. And I don't know what it is that's hanging off of this ghostly tail. I think it's a tag or something. Anyway, use this power up right here to knock down the two gargoyle statues and gain access to the crypt, which we will delve into right now. 
But unfortunately, given the fact that we're 20 minutes into the recording, we are out of time, guys. So I'm going to save the rest of the crypt for the next episode. No. Seriously, guys. I'm ending it off here. I'm not kidding. This episode is way too long, even as we speak. I'm serious. We're ending it here. I know it saddens you guys, but trust me, we're going to do more in the next episode. So in the next part of Jersey Devil, we are going to delve even deeper into the dark depths of the crypt in the cemetery. So until next time, I'm Multi Game Master one thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.